Hi everybody, it's me, Bob Anderson of Bob Anderson Art, and I'm in the final video. I will do, this is the final video of this still life series, but I'll do one more just showing you what it looks like. You won't see me in it. So this is the second to last, and then there'll be one more just showing me the painting and what I did and showing it around the edges, okay? So there's only like one thing left to do here, which is there's one little, uh, little little branch of the greenery right here coming right across here so i just started to put it in and i'm going to just like put it in it's going across the front of these flowers and then it kind of bends a little bit here and it goes right up into this blossom now so what it just did was I did the dark greenish part, and now I'm gonna put the little highlight on it. Like a lighter yellowy green where the, oh! <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> that happens. Okay, back. I dropped my brush. And I'll clean that up later. Okay, here we go. So now I'm going to put a lighter yellowy green on the areas where the sunlight is hitting this little stem that's kind of curling up here right in front of these blossoms. And you know, I can't tell what's happening in this painting. It kind of just goes in here and then there's these like these green, I don't know not what they are. I do not know what they are, but I'm gonna paint them in as I see them. Because many people say that I'm an enigma. And so I guess I'm going to paint in an enigma in my painting. And it comes down, there's like two branches. I don't know if it's like a leaf that's reflecting oddly. But I'm going to put it in exactly as I see it. And I'll leave it up to you guys to try to figure out what it is. And so at, at, as I'm finishing the painting, I looked around at it and I realized there were certain things like this bud here, this last flower that I put in was kind of cut off at the top and compositionally it looked not great. It was cut off. So I lowered it a little bit right here and I brought a blossoms down here because this looked a little empty and I found that I forgot this little leaf here. So I put it in and I forgot another little leaf down here. I kind of looked at everything and checked it out and I made a few little changes and a few little adjustments. And uh, now we're finishing up. <laughs> And as I told you before, you know, since it's your painting, you can always do whatever you want. Sometimes I pop little bits of colors that are in the painting in areas where they actually, you don't necessarily see them, but they may be reflecting in a way that you're not aware that they're there. So I'll put little bits of reflections of other colors in on these blossoms in little subtle areas to give it like a punch and to give it a life, a life of its own. I feel, and I may have said this before, but that I feel that, you know, when you put little bits of color all around something, it gives, it makes it alive. Because when you look at something, there are little bits of color all over the place that you may not be consciously seeing, but to see them makes it come alive because that is life. 
color reflects off of everything. And so I'm just gonna add a couple little highlights on this leaf here and on this stem that comes up here. Roll a little bit on this stem here. And then and a little bit up here on this latest, the latest stem that I added. Maybe throw a little highlight on this, these stems up here. Ooh, okay. And that's pretty much it. So actually, I do believe, don't freak out, but I do believe that I finished this painting. So we are now complete with this, which originally started as my second series, but ended up being my third, my third series of painting instruction. And it is of this still life. Now I will shoot one more quick video, just showing you what it looks like all on its own without me in it, so you can get a better shot of it. And that will be the completion of my third series on how to paint. The first one being a landscape, the second one was the mural that I did for the, the child's nursery, and the third is the still life. And so anyway, I hope you like it, and um, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. But always remember, you are the master of your own artwork. You are the god of your own artwork. And don't let anybody put you down, because what other people may say is ugly, Someday the world may herald it as one of the most beautiful things they've ever seen or something that moves the world, okay? So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next series, but I will do one more video of just the artwork so you can see what it looks like, okay? Goodbye.